am George Ann Bender. And I'm Rich Kaiser. And we're coming to you from the Riverwalk in beautiful San Antonio, Texas, where it's a glorious day. And we're wearing black, of course. Yeah. I guess that absorbs the sun, makes you feel hot. Uh, everybody's pointing to it. must be from Chicago. <laughs> They're not from around here, honey. So, Rich and I have had the opportunity to think about our generation quite a lot lately. We're baby boomers, and you know baby boomers were born between 1946 and 1964. And all of a sudden, everyone in the media is, and everyone in retailing is trying to figure out how to get to baby boomer customers. And the reason being is because the oldest boomers are starting to turn 66, and all of a sudden it's this horrible nightmare. What do we do? Yeah, we sat on a panel, and I made the point, I said, you know what? I may be a boomer, but I'm not on Medicare, I'm not ready to retire, and I'm not going to park my Harley, so don't don't pretend that I'm old, because I'm not old. And don't they think that we're just ready to park our walkers? I don't get it. So we had a really good time on that panel. People said to me, do you feel old? And I said, no, I don't feel old, or at least I didn't tell. I looked at my face on image magnification, movie screen size. You haven't lived till you've done that. But no. See, here's the thing with the baby boomers. There are 76 million of us, but they're actually two different generations. The younger boomers are, the youngest are 47 years old. They have kids who are 10 years old. They're not thinking about Medicare and retirement and ARP and Social Security. So the younger boomers of the generation are called Generation Jones. We were kids who grew up in the 70s, essentially. We don't understand Woodstock. We don't understand things like that. Then there are older brothers and sisters. They're called the Classic Boomers. And they're the ones who are starting to turn 66, and they were at Woodstock. And they're focused on retirement now and getting there. Uh, but the younger ones aren't. But you know what? We're noticing that in the retail industry, everybody is talking about the baby boomers, and they're getting old, and they're retiring, and they're leaving. And that's a huge, huge mistake to make, because yeah. even if they are retiring, they're not retiring like they used to do 20 years ago. They're younger, they're more aggressive, they're more active, that's they're spending right. money. Listen, middle age in this country is now defined as 55, and baby boomers themselves don't even think that they're even beginning to turn old until they hit their mid-70s. So when somebody's 65 years old and everybody's going crazy talking Medicare and things like that, you know what, at 65 years old, you still have 20 years of quality shopping time in a store. Now, you do need to get your store ready, make things a little bit more simple or bring products down, make it easier to grasp, replace doorknobs with handles. But please, don't start calling us senior citizens and put us out to pasture. You know, when one of the guys in a focus group who just finished said, you know what, I take great offense to the fact that I, I'm referred to as a member of ARP. At least they changed the name. It used to be American Association Retired People. What? At 50 years old? He said, now at least I get the ARP magazine and I'm inv invited to go to that. Subject. What does retirement mean in the dictionary? Retirement means to uh, go de away. decrease or go <laughs> away. And, and you know what, I don't know anybody in a baby boom generation that says, you know what, I'm decreasing and I'm going away. You know what I do know about them? They're reinventing themselves, they're doing more, they're doing it with style, they're aggressive, they're spending money, and they take offense to terms like senior citizen. Oh yeah, discount. call me a senior citizen and I will hate you for life and never shop in your stores. So, you know, here's the thing, understand that the baby boomer generation are two completely different generations rolled up into one. There's younger ones who still have children, younger children at home, and there are older ones who are doing things over. And they're, you know, they're going into the second half of their lives, but they're still very vibrant. They're not retiring. They're still great customers to have. They're zooming. They're zooming into the second half of their years. So here's the thing. Make sure that in your business, in your store, you cater to people and don't ever call them old. Don't call us senior citizens. And please, don't write us off. And that's just something to think about. And there's got a lot more that's going to come to you because we're making it our mission now to really step up to the plate and explain to you how to do business successfully with this baby boom generation. How to really get to know us because there's too many misconceptions out there. So until we talk again, I'm George from I'm, Generation Jones. I'm Rich from the classic generation and of you're boomers. A classic. And we're going to go to Fiesta now and learn how to dance and do all those things we're not supposed to do because we're too old. <laughs> You got my walker? <laughs> yeah, me.